What's going on guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another video. So I just got back from MegaCon last night and uh, literally hours after I landed in Florida, this show got released, this pilot. And I was very upset to say the least because I've been following this project for a while. And of course the day I went to Florida for MegaCon, it came out. But now we're finally getting into it. I just got home. I cannot wait to watch this thing. I've heard nothing but good things from all my reaction friends that have done it so far. Before we get into it, uh, I just want to say uh, I had a blast at MegaCon. MegaCon was fantastic, got a lot of stuff. So you guys are gonna see the background change. I actually had to, I bought so much stuff, I had to ship it to myself. So that's how much stuff I have. Uh, so the background's gonna be changing even though I just finished it. So uh, the background will be changing periodically probably because I have way too many prints to show them all up at once. MegaCon was very fun, had a great time there. Uh, shout out to Elijah and that's why I fangirl. I want to thank her again for, you know, letting me crash at her place. We had a great time. We're definitely going to do it again soon. And also thanks to those of you that stopped us and said hi. Uh, it was great getting to meet you guys. Stay tuned for those adventures because we're kind of working on a video, like a vlog kind of thing. But before we get into the video itself, the full reaction video will be on my Patreon. Uh, I don't know how copyright's going to be with this. so. The full reaction is available on Patreon, um, along with previous reaction videos I've done in the past. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on social media here. If you want to send me stuff, my PO box is in the description. Uh, also, if you want to become a member, uh, consider joining. You can use these fun emotes, uh, as well as other perks. And with all that being said, let's get into this, because I just really want to watch this. Okay, so this came out six days ago, and it's already at four million views. Um, I just want to say I'm so proud of the crew for being able to pull that off. That's amazing. I'm so glad they're getting good feedback uh, because like I said, I follow this project for a while and I just love the art style of the show. Like we haven't even began watching it, but I just want to fawn over some of these things. First of all, the trailer. I loved the vibes, the old timey vibes. I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. It takes place during the prohibition, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's been a while since I watched the trailer, but, uh, and the music, the old time music, I am a sucker for old time music. I'm pretty sure it takes place in the South. Uh, there were a couple people with like, it seemed like New Orleans accents or something. And I love New Orleans accents. Princess and the Frog, you know, you, you feeling me? Also, what I know of this going into it, um, I know a couple people that have worked on this, not personally, I wish, but, uh, Michael Kovich does the voice of Angel Dust and uh also voices the gray tabby in this i'm pretty sure and um the artist ashley nicole arts uh animated this and she also worked on the has been pilot and it, it also runs the honey cast so um those are the only two people i'm really aware of in this uh but i love michael kovich's uh voice acting as angel dust and since he's probably not going to be in the show the has been show itself at least we get to enjoy more of his beautiful voice so i'm looking forward to that and okay i put it off long enough let's let's do this st louis missouri 1927 prohibition is in full effect <gasps> it's this character i love this character already Old man river hold on sorry the closed captions were on you're a wily convoluted sage <laughs> I love this character already. You call what rings the vernal heart of Westerlore. Okay, I'm sorry, but the lighting in this is so pretty. I feel like this whole reaction video is just going to be me like salivating over how beautifully done this animation is. I'm just giving you a heads up. I think that's what's going to happen. But oh my god, the composition just right now, just these beginning shots, I'm already loving. I'm already loving. As an artist, I'm standing. Alchemic change of timber beam to iron. It's so poetic. Also, I'm noticing a lot of the guideline, like the drawing guidelines. I really like that touch. Um, it's giving me uh, Wolfwalker vibes. And the reason I like that so much is it reminds you that this is all hand-drawn. It's not one of those, you know, CGI movies or something. It's hand-drawn. And like that little remembrance just reminds you that this is drawn frame by frame. And it's just so impressive. And I just love these little details because it just reminds the viewer just how much effort goes into these types of things. And it's already so well animated. The fluid, it's so fluid. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to try and not talk that much waters lends about it. Prideful, sober sovereignty as wild waters, fast and free. It's, your it's so calming. It's so freaking calming. Abundantly clear. You four goddess down here. Encore? <laughs> uh, 
no encore? No. Encore, encore. Should I? Don't ruin musical theater for everyone. I'm not sure lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Why don't you come down? Oh, he's supposed to be a lookout. Alas, Miss Pepper. Are you taking up a grave? Cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms. So I do what I can. I provide the up. Oh, there he goes. Oh no. Cats always land on their feet at least, right? Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, these characters are so cute. I love the character design of them. Babyface provides the muscle. Babyface. I felt that. Awkward explaining to do to the family of uh Herman Hapfem. Under the Truce of Peace, Saturday, September 12th, 1927. Herman Ham- I'm not even gonna try to attempt that. Good on you, Rocky, for trying. No, not me. Was struck by a runaway circus colope? I don't know what that is. Uh, near the terminus of Biddle Street, whereupon in a canopy of frenzled glee, he was flung bodily into the Mississippi River. Requiring the painstaking effort of number 26, Firehouse by grade, his remains were later disentangled from the paddle wheel spokes. Oh, God, the paddle wheel spokes. Oh, that's a, oh, that's brutal. Okay, um, of the SS Albatross, having been rearranged into an impressive... Why are there such big words? My dyslexic ass cannot do this. Uh, Mero, Mero, Vengen, not. Uh, he died doing what he loved. Remarked his stoic, stoical widow, whom he survived alongside a niece and nephew and several southern cousins, a shoe-wearing donkey named Pimples, and a prized collection of sixty-four fashionably. Soup housed at his west and residence. I think that cuts off because I don't think that's supposed to say soup. Service are, services are to be held Monday next at the East City something chapel. 26 S 64 W. So it's supposed to be code for something? Or maybe a safe? I don't know, but that was interesting backstory to what happened to the dude. Sucks he got stuck in the spokes, though. That's gotta be brutal. Did you hear something? All these unresting spirits were trespassing on their turf. But there's not ye can do about it, ye feisty devils. <laughs> I love him. I love what? him so much. Blasphemy. Oh, Freckle. Don't tell me Freckle, you that's a such a cute name. Showing off your shoveling skills for hotsy tutsy over here. <laughs> oh, look at his little tail fluffed. Oh. Settle down, cousin. The spirits are all. Oh, they're cousins? <laughs> Things turned out just fine. So, wait, they were burying the alcohol all this time? Is that what they're doing? Or are they just straight up grave robbing people? Like, but why would they bury. I know it's the prohibition. I don't know much about the prohibition. I don't know if they were burying alcohol. So, that's my. I should have done research on this beforehand, but it's too late now, so. Oh, well. Now, show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> oh, he's a shy little thing. I love him. <laughs> Look at that grin. I'll start oh, they were burying alcohol. This whole concept is foreign to me. But that's okay. We don't need it to be appreciative of the artwork. Where's that spotlight when we need it, Miss Pepper? Now this You just told her to keep him off. Oh, that was the flashlight. Oh, who's that? Oh boy. Excuse me? <laughs> Are they fighting over the alcohol? I love the accents. I love the accents so much. Hmm, can't let the competition go unchecked. Even a little vermin. They got a way of festering. Alon! Ominous, okay. I did it! I did it! <laughs> Winging it. Learn to drive. Well, you're so bad at it, you've confounded the enemy. 
Nicely done. Not for long. Someone else take over or learn real quick. On the job learning. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> He's committed to the cause. He really is. Oh, okay. Freckles is not so shy anymore. Oh, there's there's that uh, music from the trailer. I love this music. Just more glass. Oh God. Profoundly unprofessional. Well, they got more fire. You're a stick in the mud, buddy. You are a stick in the mud. They are having fun. Oh, you don't like how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in, Chef? There we go. Do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? Sentimental about old times? Backstory? Are we getting that? <laughs> Freckles is a madman. I did not see this coming. I love this. Oh, you guys did it. Good on you guys. There's no left here. Off road. Go off road. Off road. I don't trust him. Is everyone okay? Is everyone okay? Oh, Fre is Freckles okay? I haven't seen him yet. I'm nervous. Oh, the quarry. Oh, that's not a good place. Oh, no. Real quick, another thing I just noticed, the muted backgrounds of, like, the nighttime is just so... Oh. This reaction video should just be named Morgan Salivates over the color palette of the show for 30 minutes. <laughs> and the character design. <laughs> okay. Oh, is, it playtime now? is Rocky unhinged now? Do you think we're safe? Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that... There's a, a fire, a burning hot fire in, uh, in, the, in the engine compartment. So I, I'm guessing when he gets a gun in his hand, he just like a switch flips and he's just a maniac in the best way possible in that instance. But that was so cool to just see him switch because up to that point, he was so shy and unsure and then the moment he got that gun in his hand which is weird for me saying because i'm not really a huge you know gun person but in this context i think it's cool i think it's really cool rocky's <laughs> what happened to rocky <laughs> why does michael kovich always play like the unhinged characters <laughs> he's here for shenanigans Oh, that's so pretty. He's so silly. Oh, is he about to drive the machines? Oh, he's about to blow shit up? Okay, hold on. I need to pause that. No smoking, dancer, live explosives. I guess that's a gun. I'll drop them away. You start the car. Please. Please, he's so polite. We love a polite boy. What happened to you that made you hate fun? <laughs> I know, right? He's such a stick in the mud. She's adorable. Can we just say she's fucking adorable? Oh, Freckles, be careful. Oh, the ticking adds such ambiance to it. And suspense. These camera angles are so good. Oh, he's counting how many bullets he has left. Oh no, Rocky! Not Rocky! Freckles! Oh, he got grazed. Oh, here comes Rocky. He found the explosives. And a tank! I'm sorry, I'm loving this so much. Again, what is up with Michael voicing people that like to blow shit up? <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. I, I, I love this character. He's just such 
a wide variety of emotions and chaos. I live for the chaos with this character. I don't know why. Um, but I love him. I just love him. I don't know what it is. And I also really like, um, I don't know if we got their names, but the one with like the New Orleans accent, the bad guys, I don't really know if they're actual bad guys or what the deal is between these people right now. But I love the I love the accent. I'm a sucker for a New Orleans accent. And I love her sass. I love a sassy woman, all right? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, and I also like her partner, it seems. Uh, not the stick in the mud, the one that was the driver. Uh, I'm just really digging these characters right now. And I'm I'm sorry I haven't really paused up to this point, but I'm loving this animation so far. Like, I get so easily distracted with the animation, the style, the fluidity, the storytelling, the color palette. It's just assaulting me on all sides, and I'm just enjoying every second of this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's Are these two a thing? Rocky. Rock, what's happening, Rocky? The circus trains are blazing day. Okay, so he's got some tie to the circus because he keeps talking about the circus. Something happened with the circus in the clip, in the, the newspaper clip. Hold on, let me, let me go back to that real quick. Struck by a runaway circus. Calipi. I need to look up what that word means. Hold on, bear with me here. I should have done this before, but I... Thought I could figure it out through context, but that did not happen. A keyboard instrument resembling an organ with the notes produced by steam whistles. Oh, that's what that thing is. Okay. Wait, was struck by a runaway circus canopy. How the hell did that thing... How was there a runaway circus canopy? How... Does it go on wheels? Oh, wait, those are coordinates. That's what those numbers are. They're coordinates. 26 south, 64 west. This is, okay, I thought I, I, I don't know what those would mean though. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to just, to figure this shit out. We'll make our three rings anywhere. Oh no. Don't get crushed, run, 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 run. Oh, you are so lucky that pole was in the way. Hate the water. At least that cat did. Cause he hissed at it. She got the car working though. Good on her. No. Duck. Okay, he, does he have some tie to her then? I don't know what her name is. I don't know if they've mentioned it. I got you a souvenir. <laughs> You're supposed to light it first. <laughs> You're supposed to light it first. They're having a blast. <laughs> Brother mine, help me up. Without you. And that Who's she talking to? <laughs> now we're just digging for scraps. Meet you downstairs. Okay, I thought he might have passed away because she was like talking to the portrait, but she said meet you downstairs. Ooh, we got a lounge. I love the red atmosphere. He said bent over his illicit beverage. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure you were alive. See? <laughs> Shouldn't you be up on Oh, cuz it's Shall there's I no one here. You personally. Uh, once I've had a few more illicit beverages, perhaps. I suppose I could use one of those too. Victor, more of a confidant, less of a coroner. Trust a coroner. <laughs> Sorry about the carpet. Rocky, sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank you! This was supposed to be the real McCoy. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that's me drinking alcohol. <clears throat> it beats radiated fluid. What's that aftertaste? I'm crisp, full bodied, I'm reminiscent of oak wood. Coffin varnish. Yeah, we can call oh, it varnish. Sunset Rose cocktail. <laughs> you have no idea. How old are they? I have very good an idea. That's literally me drinking alcohol. <laughs> mm, 
Sophisticated neighbor. <laughs> That's literally me. Freckles is like, keep me out of this. Signage, minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may Nothing have big. a deadly rivalry That's on the way fine. too. But dynamite and heavy machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport. Dynamite? What dynamite? Also, you'll be happy to know my violin came through unscathed. Oh no! I Not the violin! Did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. I'm glad you and your violin are back, honey. We could oh. all use some music about now. Is this his mom? I mean, come on, you owe me a dance. I do. Yes, I've decided. You know the Charles? Oh no. The Lindy Hop? No. The Roundabout? The Jingle Jangle? <laughs> that was when Elisha and I went to an after party and I wasn't dancing. And she's like, you don't. I'm like, I don't know any dance. She's like, you don't dance. I'm like, I don't know any dances. I We danced to one song and it was Justin Bieber's Baby. Because that was the only, <laughs> that was the only song I knew. <laughs> oh my God. Freckles is me. I have a head injury. <laughs> I love this beat. Yes. That's it. I was having such a good time. That's it. Seraphine, was that one? Nicodeme? I think that's how you say it. And Mordecai, okay. I love this outro music. Wow, so many people worked on this. I mean, it makes sense. It was so well put together. Maribel Hotel. Manager oh, there's more. Is calling me to ask for a ride. Yes. <laughs> the defeat, yes. One of our suppliers appears to be double dealing. The stragglers from Lackadaisy, of all things. Oh. They're clumsy and likely to draw attention. With the feds in town. Yeah, that's a real liability. Oh. I can only stave off so much heat from the higher ups before this whole city starts smoldering. Time to tie up some loose ends. Poor flower, the flower didn't do anything to you. Handmade by artists in their homes across the world, in spite of it all. I love that. I love that so much. Wow. Just just wow. Alright, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch it again. Um to see if I can better understand it. It's because some parts I think I missed. Uh and then I will be back. So five hours may have just passed um i got sidetracked with something so that's why i might look different because i have a sweatshirt on anyways uh so i went back and i rewatched and i just took some notes well i didn't mean to hit my mic uh i just took some notes on things i found interesting thoughts i had observations so i figured i would just address them uh the random thoughts i had one thing I liked about this was it felt like you were in this era. There were a lot of like old timey phrases. At least I'm assuming they were old timey. Um, a lot of the things I looked up, they had like definitions, but I've just never heard of it before. So they had like the old timey words that really put you in like the time period of 19, I think it was 27. Also little details I liked. Uh, the tails fluff when they're scared. I like that detail a lot because anyone that's had a cat or seen a cat, uh, when they like puff up, they or they get scared, they their tails fluff, and I just love that little detail because even though they are anthropomorphic, it reminds you that they are indeed cats. And they also don't like the water because there's that one scene where Mordecai hisses at the water. Another little detail I liked when Mordecai Nicodem, I'm just gonna call him Nico. Um, because I'm gonna butcher their name otherwise, uh, and Seraphine show up for the first time and it cuts to the headlights, the borders actually close, like the borders of the screen actually close in and it gives it more of an intense feeling and that little detail really added a lot and I really liked that. I don't think I caught it the first time, but I, when, when, I, when I watched it the second time I was like, that is just a beautiful touch. It really adds to the intensity of the scene and the seriousness of it and it's just... Oh, I loved it. I love it so much. And also when Rocky is unhinged, he's doing like, there's, it's more of like a jerky moment. Like the, the way he's moving, the way it's animated, he's more jerky and the movements are more rough. And I really liked that 
because it really shows you just how unhinged he is where he moves an entirely different way than he does the rest of the show and that was just so freaking cool and such a cool detail i like i'm just eating this stuff up you don't even understand i'm eating this shit up i love it so much these details and this attention to detail also going back made me understand the plot a little bit better uh so the coordinates on the newspaper I don't know if the, it was a fake death or not, but they were definitely, um, it was definitely pieced together because later on, um, I wasn't really, like, listening or I didn't absorb it the first time, but, what's her name? Mitzi was saying how they have a new dealer from the funeral home, so that makes sense why there's alcohol in the casket is because this is how they're dealing it to people, which is so freaking smart! I'm wondering if this is how actual prohibition things were actually done. If so, that is genius. That is so genius. And just well done. Well done. One part that I questioned was Serafina saying, do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times to Mordecai? And so it makes me wonder, like, the history. Does he have history with... What's her name? What's her name? Ivy. Because he didn't have troubleshooting at Rocky or at Freckles, but when Ivy, when his gun was pointed at Ivy, he couldn't do it. So that makes me think they have backstory. Um, I know there's a comic. I'm going to definitely read it once, you know, this video is over with. Uh, but I haven't read it because I didn't know if it was going to include spoilers for the pilot or... So I wanted to go as blindly as possible. And then at the end, they're say, like, Mitzi's trying to, like, say it's not really worth it for the alcohol because they went through, they spent all this money um, from the dealers, you know, getting it and you know, a lot of it got wrecked because uh, these other people are stepping in and trying to stop them because they're clumsy and they're worried about the FBI getting involved. Not the FBI, the feds. That's right, that's right, we're the feds. And the dealers are double dealing to Lackadaisy, which is the bar. So that made a lot more sense going through it the second time because the first time going through, I think I was just so bombarded with all my senses were bombarded with like, and I was just salivating over the artistic choices. And I was just like, oh, you know, so I think that's why I missed it the first time. But it makes a lot more sense. There's still some questions I have that weren't answered, but I'm guessing we'll get that in the show. Also, this is just the pilot. So I'm really hoping it gets picked up because this show looks great. I would love to see more of this. Uh, it was done so well. It took them three years to do this from what I saw on Twitter Which amazing just amazing. It was done all in their homes You know like it was all individual artists coming together to work on this and three years, you know, that was COVID times when they started this and As anyone will tell you COVID really put a wrench in you know everyone's plans and especially people that make shows so it's just so inspiring that they were able to do this much in three years time and i think it would really help if they were able to get it picked up as a show similar to how has been was picked up uh but i would love to see more of this because i love the world building the character design the you know the color palette the, the music the music was so good like the both both the musical scores in the background and also the ones they were playing um in the bar like at the end my favorite character is probably rocky i really love rocky i don't know why i just love the unhinged characters like that's a thing lately like i love alistair from has been and angel dust from has been uh like just lately i just have a thing with unhinged characters i don't know what it is but i really like rocky i also really liked ivy and uh Freckles, I really like them as well, but Rocky just stood out to me a little bit more. It could also be that Michael voiced him, so, you know, because I love Michael uh, as a voice actor. What Another detail I liked was, like, Freckles' little crush on Ivy. I thought that was very sweet. I was, and he, he's such a polite guy uh, when he doesn't have a gun in his hand and he doesn't become unhinged. But he was just such a polite guy and a sweetheart. And then Ivy, she's, she's like, so smart. And she's, like, she just wings it and gets shit done, and I love that. Um, and she's also, like, trying to stand out from the crowd, uh, when, uh, she's trying to, like, prove herself, like, when they didn't want her having the alcohol, but she's like, did you know I went through to get this? And she's, like, trying so hard to muscle it down, which, girl, I feel your pain, because alcohol is gross-tasting. 
<laughs> I feel her pain so much. Um, but I also really like the the other characters of um, Serafina and Nico. I don't know why I liked them so much, but I really did. I know they're supposed to be like enemies of the Lackadaisy crew, but I really enjoyed their, their personalities. They were very funny. They worked really well together. I believe they're siblings. Um, but I really enjoyed like their chemistry and like them just like feeding off one another the vibes they were given off They were funny um, Mordecai's kind of a stick in the mud to me um, But he also seems like he's got more on the line and he's got things at risk because they, they said he was a What the fuck was the word? Um, a hatchet man, which apparently is someone that murders people who's paid to murder people So he probably has a bounty out on these people to you know stop before the feds get involved and take everyone down I can't blame him for that necessarily um, But yeah, uh, I had a lot more notes, but I don't think anyone cares for the ramblings uh, So that's gonna be it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about Lack Daisy in the comments below um, I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna try and get more into YouTube things. I plan on doing murder drones next once I finish up Dead End Paranormal Park um, because a lot of people have been requesting it lately. I don't know what the deal is with that. And Michael also voices in that. And I also know Charlie's voice actress that sang as Charlie is in it as well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that as well because I love going into things with familiar actors. <laughs> what? Go like this. I just saw this. It's hilarious. Like no, I gotta go like this. <laughs> Cut the pickle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cut the pickle. Cut the pickle. Okay. Tickle, tickle. No, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> I'm recording right now. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> she legitimately scared me with that. I like shows that have actors that I've already seen and that I'm aware of because it makes me want to watch things, especially when I enjoy them and I really liked those voice actors, so I plan on getting into that. We have that to look forward to. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go now because I have to edit this. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hear her laughing upstairs. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Social media, description, end of video, all that jazz. Uh, memberships, check them out if you want... Cut if you want access to custom perks, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.